Hello, this is Holger Martin for EETScribe.com. In my last video, I was talking about servo blocks and my plan to try and use them to create a two axis camera gimbal. And this is my first prototype. This is a roll and tilt camera gimbal. Uh, as you can see, there's two servo blocks here. The one in the front is used for the tilt axis, and the one on the right here is used for the roll axis. So, both together give you tilt and roll. And the electronics to control this is just done with an Arduino Leonardo. Oh, sorry, this is an Arduino Uno. And uh, a 5 volt power supply. And a couple uh, extruded aluminum beams. And this is what the camera gimbal looks like when it's going through its full range of motion. So I've got it uh, going through the tilt. Uh, motion fairly fast and it's rolling somewhat slowly and this was mostly just so I could figure out my clearances and what type of rotation I can get on each axis. I wasn't able to get a full 180 degrees because uh, things start hitting other things uh, in particular the the beam that the camera is mounted on I found that the battery of the camera actually hit uh, things and uh, Probably a smaller camera is a better idea for this, but I wanted to use this big one because I wanted to see if it, uh, my servos had enough torque to actually uh, move the camera. Uh, and it does seem to work fairly well. Now one problem I did find is I've got this bracket here connecting the main beam to the tilt axis servo and uh, servo block. And I found it does bounce around a bit. It has some flex which resulted in bouncing quite a bit. And you'll see that once we uh, move a little bit further in the clockwise direction of the roll. I am actually able to get this to move much faster, but things start bouncing around way too much. And uh, I can't see that as being a good thing. So I will look into getting some kind of a bracket uh, that I can use instead of the plastic bracket. And once it gets a little bit further in the roll, you'll see that it, uh, it does bounce around a little bit. Yeah, here you can see it, it, it does bounce a bit once it goes uh, back. And that's something I'd like to avoid. And that's it up to now. And the next thing I'll have to play with is getting the uh, gyro to do the gyro stabilization so that this thing will hold a perfectly level camera irregardless of the orientation that the whole uh, gimbal platform is uh, on. The code for this is fairly straightforward. There's an example uh, that comes with the Arduino software called Servo. You just have to modify that and play with it a little bit. One thing I did notice is the Servo attach command defaults to a specific pulse width for the 0 degree and 180 degree servo rotation. And that pulse width in many cases is not what you want to use. So you'll either have to manually specify that in the Servo attach command or you will have to go in and change the, uh, the actual library. I'd advise against changing the library. Just, just have to enter another couple of parameters in your uh, servo attach command, and then the servo library will know which, which pulse width to use for uh, whatever degree orientation you're trying to get your servo to position itself to. And that's pretty much it. So I'm quite happy with servo blocks and the Arduino's ability to uh, control these servos so that I have a two-axis uh, camera gimbal. And this is the uh, roll tilt gimbal with the camera mounted on top instead of on the bottom. Uh, set of different problems with this. <laughs> so I'm going to have to play with the uh, positioning of the camera and also some of the uh, angles for uh, tilt and roll min and maximum. Uh, but again, it seems to be doing the job fairly well. I find at uh, higher speeds, uh, this 
tends to be a little bit more erratic. The, uh, I'm assuming the momentum of the camera as it's moving is causing problems with the uh, servo getting to its commanded position uh, fast enough and being able to maintain it.